Hey you guys! Well, I know it's been a while since I've made an adoption vlog, but um, I just thought that would be a good time. There's something that's been kind of on my mind a little bit, and I just thought I would share it with y'all. So, um, around Mother's Day, I made Lauren, Sawyer's birth mom, a Happy Mother's Day video to celebrate Birth Mother's Day. Birth Mother's Day is the Saturday before Mother's Day. And um, I just was just telling her how grateful I was. It wasn't anything controversial, at least that I thought. And um, so I made the video and posted pictures of her and Sawyer in it and just kind of wished her a happy Mother's Day, you know? And about an hour later, I came back and I was looking at some of the comments on there and I was kind of shocked to see some of the comments on there. And uh, some of the comments were just because somebody gives birth doesn't mean they're a mom. And if people place their child for adoption, they're not entitled to call themselves mom. They don't have the right to call themselves mom. And, and uh, I just kind of got sick at my stomach when I read those because I severely disagree in our situation. Um, I have never, ever not considered Sora's birth mom a mom. She, she's an amazing girl. And um, I just felt like if she saw those comments, it would kind of hurt her feelings. And so I did take the video down. I put it on private. But um, so I started looking into it. I thought, you know, am I wrong for feeling like that she is a mom? When she did play Sawyer for adoption, does she lose that right to call her mom? I mean, I, these were things that I never even thought of that never even crossed my mind. And so I, um, I came across this blog of birth moms. There's about five or six. And they came together to make a blog just answering questions that people ask about adoption and that they can answer on their ends as being birth moms. And one of the questions somebody asked was, do they consider themselves mothers? And what do they say when people ask, are you a mom? Do you have children? And so I was reading it, and I was kind of surprised by some of the comments on there. Some birth moms um, said, absolutely not. I do not feel like a mom. People ask me if I have kids. I say no, because I don't. Because they, I don't raise them. I basically gave birth. I was the vessel, and I helped somebody else. And other ones were like, well, it depends on the situation. It's not something I always talk about, but if asked in depth, then yes, I will tell them I'm a birth mom, but that's about it. Then in other situations, there's people, there's birth moms that say, yes, I feel like I am a mom. I gave birth to a baby. I am a mom. Even though I don't see him every day, I feel like I'm a mom. So there's um, all different opinions and um, different thoughts behind it, considering who you ask. So, um, in our situation, I went and asked Lauren herself if she felt like she was a mom. And without even really thinking about it, she said, yeah, I do. And I kind of told her the situation, told her what happened, and, and she said that um, she, she knows that she's the birth mom. She knows she's not the mom that raises him every day, but she thinks about him like a mom would. She cares about him like a mom would. And she um, she's there on special occasions. She's there. Um, she gives him gifts at Christmas and birthdays. I mean, that's just part of open adoption. I mean, I have the title of mom and she has the title of birth mom. We do not co-parent. I'm the parent that raises him. But she's the parent that gave him life. She's the one that took her prenatal vitamins. She's the one that read to him every night, that um, felt the first kick and the first hiccup and listened to music with him. And uh, she's the one that, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been a mom. And um, she's an incredible woman. Incredible, incredible. And I've just... I don't feel like I have, I get asked a lot, well, do you feel like since it's an open adoption, do you feel like you only have half a child that, that you co-parent? No, I don't feel that way at all. Her and I have different roles. She, um, we're, she's the birth mom, I'm the mom. I'm the mom that raises him, takes care of him. She was the mom that gave him life, that took care of him his first, um, till she, till he was born. And 
And now, I mean, just because she doesn't see him every day, she's still a big part of our lives. She will always be a big part of our lives. She, um, I mean, that's just open adoption. And I think it's wonderful. I really do. I really do. I'm not, and I always get asked, like, people look at me like I'm crazy. But until you are in it, you can't really knock it because it's, it's amazing. But, um, so Sawyer has a mom and a birth mom. Each has very separate roles, separate duties. She's just got her roles. I have my roles. We don't co-parent, but um, we are both involved in his life. She's not as involved as I am, obviously, but she, she is involved. Um, she is, um, she's his birth mom. She was the first mom. She's the tummy mom. Call it what you want. But, um, the, f but to say that she cannot entitle herself to give her, um, to let her feel like a mom or let her, um, celebrate Mother's Day is just wrong to me because she, um, as a mom did what she thought was best for her son. Not for herself, but for her son. I know it was hard for her to choose adoption. I was there when she signed the papers. I was there the days up, the days after. I was there. I know it wasn't easy for her at all. And um, poor Lauren, I, I, I blow up her mind every time I see her. I'm always asking her, how you doing? You know, tell me everything. And she's, she's very open with me about her thoughts and feelings on it and she has no regrets and um but anyways I just had to share that with you guys because um and I know this isn't everybody's situation this, but this is ours and um I am the mom Lauren's the birth mom but it doesn't just because she placed him for adoption doesn't mean she can't feel like a mom or call herself mom and when people do ask her if she has a child she does tell them about Sawyer I would too, if it were me. Um, Sawyer is an amazing little boy, and she's very proud of him. She's proud of the situation, and um, I love her every day for it. So, yes, I consider her a birth mom. Now, I know other birth moms um, may disagree, but that's their situation. This is our situation. So, And I don't feel threatened by it at all. I don't feel that one day Sawyer is going to feel like he is especially bonded to his birth mom and not me. I don't feel that way at all. Um, I just, just because she's a birth, a, the birth mom doesn't make me feel like less of a mom, if that makes any sense. Maybe in the beginning it did a little bit, just because it was hard to feel like mom when I'm giving the birth mom updates, but I'm so beyond that now. And now, every time I see her, I get so excited. I look forward to seeing her. So, anyways, to each their own. But for our situation, that's how it is. And um, so, I'm very grateful for birth moms. And um, so, yeah, just thought I would share. Thanks, guys.